There are things that's perfect for us, but imperfect for God. For example, that someone having a children or ability to have children, this is a perfect attribute for a human being or for creation of God, that to, to, to reproduce, etc. But this is not perfect attribute for God. So when you say about the essential attribute, that's something which is profound, you know. Do you believe God is merciful? That's what you mean. It depends. Right. Okay, what I is your understanding? Do you think God is caring? Simple. Caring. No, no, let him define mercy. What, when you say what does it mean? Do you understand mercy in a different way for God than to us? Or caring, let's no, say. Other than the degree, other than the degree. That's not what I meant when I said it depends what you mean. Okay, so when I said it depends what you mean, it depends what you mean when you say God is a certain act. Which God are you talking about? What does that mean? No, 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 we're not saying God has a certain act. What exactly do you mean by that? Okay, yeah. Do you mean that there is an attribute in existence? that God has, or that God is, or that God has a, as a part of him, or, or God is kind of held. Is it a characteristic or, of God? Or, 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 or is it simply, a, it, simply a human thing that we, uh, that we need to talk about in order to understand no, no, God? told God. us in the Quran that he's merciful. Why, why you complicate things you're like coming, this? Because you're yeah, of coming from a Muslim, Muslim perspective. perspective. I don't come that perspective. No, but Josh, to be I was trying to explain, because look, you never asked me in order, you did not ask me to explain Genesis 6-6. Six, six. Okay. It wasn't me to explain to you a Muslim, um, a, a Muslim tract on attributes. No, 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 no. Is God, because, is God, is God the creator? Simple. Why we go to mercy? No, is God the creator? Is God the creator? You're doing the same thing. That, it, you're, are you at, this is the same thing you always do, right? Um, and I think it might be an Asari thing, an Ashari thing, I'm not sure. It's a, it's a thing you always do. It fits the majesty and then you go to creator it, it, knowledge. It, it, it's the same everyone, thing listen, every listen, single time. Listen, listen, just simple, listen, single let's, time. let's leave discussion about I'm what we believe as Muslims. Yeah, yeah let's, let's talk about, we're not talking about, we're not discussing about yeah, let's, what let's Islam is talking about. We're talking about this, this important, this thing. When you talk about, because you mentioned something about the essential attribute. Do you think God is a creator? From a human understanding, yes. It, it depends what you mean. <laughs> it depends what you mean by creator. No, it, it depends what you mean by is. It's in, it's it's in Genesis 1-1. One, one. Okay, so the Genesis 1-1. One, one. Beginning yeah. of their book. Okay, good. So if God is a creator, is it an essential attribute of God to create? It's a, it depends. Again, it depends what you mean. Is is God's tongue? Uh, well, look. How do you understand what God said in the in the Tanakh when He says in Genesis one one He created the heavens and the earth? What do you understand by it? We understand that, that God brought the earth and the, the, the heavens into existence. and the earth out uh, right out from nothing into right. existence. Which is called right? no, no, which is called what? Which we call creating. Exactly. Thank is you. Is it right? an essential why attribute? Why is the creator? It's not an attribute. It's not an attribute at all. So it's not an attribute. No, it's not an attribute. But, but, but Josh, okay, you know what attribute means? Attribute simply means that, uh, the, the qualities that an entity possesses. The characteristic. Yeah, the, characteristic yeah. that the uh, that the. So, for example, if I said to you a triangle, what are the attributes of a triangle? It has three sides. Exactly. How do you know that? Because of the definition of the triangle. Because, you can, because that's the concept. That is the that's definition the of the triangle. Three sides make a triangle. Yes. Okay? Right. Similarly, the way we understand, you know, any Tom, Dick and Harry comes and tells me I'm God. What I'm going to do, I'm going to check against my criteria of God. Yes? Okay, fine. And you would do the same. Yes. So you do what, understand attributes of so God. What, what, is define, what is the definition of God? In, 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 if you wanted to define for us as Muslims, uh, uh, you as a Jew, you define for us as Muslims. Yeah? Tell us, what is the definition of God? How do you define God. It's a very difficult thing because the very idea yeah. of defining means that you're limiting. Right? When you define something, you put it in a box. Well, not no, really, because if I say almighty, if I say almighty, that means that there is no might that is compared to God. Okay. If, 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 so, so, so that's not a box. In fact, I would say that it's out of the box. Okay, George, if let's... I were to give you one term that encapsulates what that encapsulates the most we can say about God is Ain Sof. There is no end. There is no limit. No beginning. No. There is no. Right. Th there is no limit. Is this essential attribute? It's not an attribute. It's it is it is very essence. Okay. I think let's rephrase the question the, because very, what we are doing here is we are, we are going too technical. Yes. Let me let us rephrase the question. The the question would be, how would you identify the true God from the false God? How would I identify the true God from the false God? What do you mean by that? Which part so, of that so, so if, somebody, if somebody comes to you and they say, this is God, 
yeah. this tree is God. Right? And then you've got to worship him. Yeah. Like, like for example, let's, let's take how, example. How would you, how, how how would I, you rule I, that out? I would measure that out based on the words that God does. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, how are you doing? You're right. Right. That's it. You stole my thunder. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, you know, in the, in the time of Moses, when the Israelites, when the, they started worshipping this golden calf yes. as God, yeah. Yeah. they started worshipping it. How did Moses identify the true God of Israel from this false God of Israel? Good. Exactly. I'm really glad you brought up the golden calf. Because I just gave a whole Bible lesson to some Christians oh, earlier. Fantastic. It's all about the golden calf. <laughs> Sorry, what's your name? Your name's Josh. Josh. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, Josh, which one of the definitions of the Abrahamic war? Poor Josh is having to talk to four people. I know. That's a bit unfair. Okay. You know, I'm going to stop you talking you now. You divert, you divert, it's too much. It's like shotgunning the poor guy. Which, listen. Let it, as, Hashim, you speak and Sheikh is speak. It, I'm going to listen now. It's too many people. It's too many people. It's not fair. It's not fair on it. Is no, it the Greco-Roman version? Listen, listen. Which, which one of those By the way, you could, have, you could have your discussion. Please, please. By the way, you could have your discussion later on. Because we already, we already... No, no, no. We, we, are, we are already in the middle in of the In the middle of a conversation. We are... Okay, rude to come okay. Okay. Well, listen. Okay. okay. Right. All right. right. We, right. Can you not see I'm in the middle of something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. He can. He can. Okay, no, not this no, no, But it's an open discussion about a specific point. Yeah, yes, okay. That's what it is. Yes. Well, you're diverted. I'm not okay, talking that's, about... That's I think Hashim and Sheikh and I will go and listen. Okay. It's too much. Not I mean. It's not fair to him because he's trying to... Yeah, so okay, that's so, too much. So the question I asked... I'm sorry, I came in. No, 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 no. But you're more knowledgeable, so I'd rather you speak. I think that is... But I've got more... That is something that you should be able to... After we finish, you ask... You discuss with Josh. I want to ask you a question. No problem. I will have time for you. By the way, sorry, we shouldn't be sure. I still haven't been allowed... Too many people again. Yeah, yeah. Finish, finish your point, Josh. Finish an answer to like five questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Josh, because I was explaining a while ago now, right, my Monody's idea of 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 what what say about that? Say about God. In order to explain Genesis six six, that's what the whole point. Let's come back to that. Let's come back to that point. And then I can answer some other questions that you've asked. All right. Okay. Right? Um, because otherwise, you just go nuts. You go on digression. That's too many. Up, too many. Up, too many. It's right. I agree. Go on. Right. All right. Um, okay. So that was the take. Yeah. So the reason we say right about God that He is merciful is because if you were to say about a human being that He was not merciful, that would be deficient. That's what I was coming to. Right. Sorry. Say that if again. If you were to say about a human person, yes, that He does not have mercy. Okay. He's not merciful. Okay. Would that Sorry, be who doesn't have mercy? The human, the human being. The human being. If That's I would say about. That's, uh, to say about uh, red blogs, yes. he is not merciful. Don't be racist now. Use a Jewish name or a Muslim name. Otherwise, the white guy is going to say, oh, it's got to be Fred Blogs. It's an English guy. Fine. So let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, Abdul, Abdul. Abbas, I think you're getting a bit cryptic there. <laughs> I would just going to let that one if go. I, if I were to say about Moshe Gloss, okay. right, okay. that, that, uh, you throw me now. <laughs> <laughs> It's not merciful. I will remind you. It's not yeah. merciful. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. My shikos, that he's not merciful. Yeah, right. Yes. Right. Then that would be a deficiency in my shikos. Right. Therefore, I can't say about God that he's not merciful. This is the way that the Maimonides looks at it. Right. So you use and a human to understand God, basically. Yes, because that's all you Shouldn't can. Shouldn't you be allowed? Don't you be? Don't you think the other way around should be? What, you should, it, Shouldn't God be independent the, 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 of the, the, the human? The, wait, hold on. The, characteristics. The, the other way around is to understand God based on. Uh, uh, so. The, the, the other way around is to understand humans based on God. No, God tells us to understand. For example, yeah. yes. How how we should understand humans is also from God, isn't it? Like, for example, know. He tells us good and evil. Yeah. How to identify good and evil? How we understand. Otherwise, God everyone will have their own subjective understanding of humans. You know, like they'll say, "Oh, Stalin is a good person for some people because he treats them nicely," and the people who treat them evil, they say, "Oh, he's an evil person." They, subjectively, they're both correct. Do you really want to go there? See, you see, that's Do you my really point. Want to go there if he wants God? to, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah it's one, one of those. those yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you do it together so now. That's what I'm saying. Look, God tells us. I'm, 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 I'll, I'll be honest, I, I didn't know where he was going. I'll be honest. Because he was talking about Canaanite war gods. He, he, I didn't know he's, he been, he's been about. gone a long while ago. He's been gone. He's been gone a long while ago. Okay, fine. So that's it's where you're going. Not from quite. Okay, okay. So he's not one of the 
Okay. He's, he's, one, really, of the, he's one of the atheist kind of guys. Atheist. Confused. Let's, let's on. Confused. Do you want, do you want to go into com. morality with your God, really? Okay. Really? God. Come on. Listen, do you want to go? Let's, let's stick to what listen, we're talking about. Let's listen, you, know, you shouldn't be yeah. heckler, you know. Yeah, yeah come on. Let's stick to what we're talking about. Okay, I'll let you finish your point. Josh, I've got so many questions for you, Josh. So, mercy. got a lot of questions for you, Josh. But if Misha Glass doesn't have mercy, he's deficient. If Misha Glass is not is not kind to people that he's deficient. Now there's a few other things really? that would also be deficient. Calm down! What's the matter with you? Bloody hell! A few other things <laughs> about Maisha Glass that would make him deficient. For example, I'm, 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 if Maisha Glass didn't have a didn't have a face, are we going somewhere with this to yes, answer the repentance? I'm question? going somewhere with this, uh, but to right? answer the repentance. Yes, question. to answer. The, that's Good. exactly why I brought up this. Josh, thing. you really sound like a lawyer now. This you're like ridiculous. proper. You're getting proper. Like you were really soft before. Now I see like a bit of fire in there. Yeah. 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 He's warmed up. He's developed his, yes, yes. Yeah. He's got a big book there, Josh. <laughs> Josh has now Maisha become Glass. a man. Go on, Josh. If Glass did, <laughs> if <Maisha> Glass <laughs> did not <laughs> have a face, he would be deficient. Which is why we can't talk about God as not having a face. Even though we know he's not physical. Right? He's not physical, but we can't say of him he doesn't have, he doesn't have a face. Right? We can't say about Maisha Glass that he doesn't have two feet, because then he'd be deficient, he'd be a cripple. Right? I'm getting impatient. Right? And I'm going somewhere with this. If Maisha Glass does something which doesn't have good consequences, yeah. right? So who's Maisha Glass? If my, you didn't want me to talk about Fred Bro, you don't have Maisha Glass. I can talk about Mohammed bin Salam if you want. I don't really care. No, but so are, you saying, so are you saying God has feet and face? No, and okay. I'm saying that we can't say that he doesn't. But we, you can't you can say as well, and as well you cannot say he does. You just be in the middle. You don't know. The way to understand God yeah, is in order to, to think about until, all, until he tells you it is in order to think about <laughs> what proper we know, thing, right? In order to understand God, we need to use physical, whilst also bearing in mind that he isn't physical. Yes, yeah, so Josh, to some extent. And therefore, the answer is: Yeah, go on. If Moshe Gloss did something that had negative consequences, and then uh, and then he did not regret it, we would say that that's a bad. Thing. That's a deficiency in my Glass. Sorry, if he did he, something negative and then he regrets it. He did something with negative consequences. Okay. And then he did not regret it. That's a deficiency. Because he has not he has not regretted the, neg the negative outcomes of something. So did he, he do it deliberately? You know, when you say he you did know, something you know, negative Hashim. consequence, in did each he do it one deliberately? Of these things, he he did it deliberately, right? He did it, right? And there were negative consequences, or maybe he did not. But that would be sin, right? That would be sin. What are you defining as sin? Fine. What do you mean fine? The point. The point I'm making Max, you're is. Max, you sinning. No, I'm not. <laughs> listen, listen. Well, let, let him finish. Josh, I Josh. Think Josh. Okay. The, the, the idea to have a higher clarity about consequences of actions is something which is inherently not a deficiency. Does and God have consequences why, for his negative and actions? That's why. That's why we say about God, comparing after, man to God now. after there are consequences to something God did. Okay. Even though God knew of those consequences. Let him finish, let him finish. Yes. Even though God knew those consequences. Josh, the and whole the idea of God. Josh, Josh, and, Josh. The action, and, and the action, I'm going to finish my sentence. Yeah, yeah, finish. And the action of God was, and the action of God was not negative, right? The consequences of those actions, which God foresaw would be, uh, would be in some sense negative. Um, it it has to be for our understanding that God has to have regretted it because if not, then God does not have this higher clarity of consequences of actions. Okay, you, okay. Hashim, 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 say. Hashim, 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 Hashim,
because of the of of, of the of the mistake that caused the higher class. That's not what we're talking about. What is listen, listen. Let, can I, 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 I will say that's something. Listen, listen to it. This is this is the analogy which Sheikh Islam in Taymiyyah, by the way, he literally he discusses with those philosophers who said they put that to compare to God. They said whatever is whatever is a human thing, which is a, a perfect thing for a human being, then it may apply to God. So that's one of the things. And as well, they, they try to, to to make that the main the main concept of good and bad and how to deal with the things is the human nature rather than God Himself. Now, what's what's the consequence of this? A Christian could use the same principle and apply it in the same manner to say, okay, you said regretting is something is a virtue from someone. If he did, if he committed a mistake, it's a virtue from someone. So that's why when God do such thing, that is a virtue for him to regret. That's what you. That's what I understand from you. Now, the, co the consequence of this that means if someone doesn't have children as a human nature, this is a deficient thing. So the the one who is not deficient, the one who produced children. So that's why due to this, from the goodness of the people that have children. So the same Christian say, okay, what's the problem for God to have a son? It's exactly the same thing. It's exactly the same concept. They could use the same thing because it's a perfect attribute for a human being. They could apply to God to have a son. Otherwise, will be deficient. If if the human being doesn't have a son or a, or a child, is a deficient. So the same thing for God. If he doesn't have a son, that's deficient. That's why he should have a he should have a son to show his mercy to the creation. You see what's going on? That's you exactly. If you apply the same principle. You see what? Chapter this. 14, and, and verse one. Do you see the point? Do you understand my point? In answer to your question, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse one. Bonim atem Hashem alokeichem. You are the children of the Lord your God. So you want to, you want me to say ah well then the only logical consequence is that you end up with a Christian view not, not so because we believe that we are God's children but in not in sense? a literal in sense. Sense? In sense? sense in what sense in a spiritual sense okay, so what, what do you mean like, like metaphoric yes. it's metaphorical yeah in so, a spiritual sense so in what and like, therefore therefore just as a person has produced children meaning, meaning God has created children so why did he kill his children <laughs> <laughs> that's another problem. <laughs> that's exactly the point. You know, the reason he regretted is yeah. because when his children became wicked, God said, let's eliminate them all with the flood. Let's, let, yeah, let's kill them. So it goes against you still, my friend. No, it does not. It does, because, because God eliminating his children, if my who are, in fact, the wicked and the good, both were eliminated. Or, or Kumad, or Kumad. Listen. Now he has to go. Listen. 541. Or, 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 or he commands, or he commands his army, to kill other other children that he has created, to say kill every single man and woman and a child, even think, even adults. So just, that's another thing. Just what it is. I think, I think what it and is. What about just, just what it is? is that that what donkeys they the, have the, done the, to the God? The concept of regretting something is admitting that I got it wrong. I wish I'd done it differently. Do you see my point? I disagree. Well, look, if something, an outcome happens that you're not happy with, yes, that you're not happy with. What that, what that means is that you wish you did it a different way. And that's where the regret comes in. And what we're saying is that the, the majesty of Allah is that He does everything with perfection. His knowledge is perfect, His actions are perfect. And there is no concept of regret because there's no regret of an action that God did or didn't because do. He, because He knows the consequence. Because He knows perfectly what to do, when to do, and how to do and the consequence of and the consequences so and when those consequences that, that's, that's, that's the thing and when those consequences that god creates are in fact negative consequences yes and you're saying that god does not regret it no. in, in the, that we cannot look at god no. as, as saying regret we can't say regret what we can say is that allah is pleased or displeased with a, a person's action but that's directly in relation to what you do how you behave what you might do so you believe the same concept that god is not pleased with a, a person who worships a calf he's angered by that yes uh, god is pleased with the one who doesn't attribute partners to him and just worship him alone yes but god does not regret that he worshiped the calf because regret is a term that we would attribute to 
getting an action uh, uh, or an outcome opposite to what we'd in I'd intended. I could, I, I, I could make, I could turn the same argument and flip it on its head against you. Okay. Because I could say, ah, well, God is pleased by this. That tells me what does pleased um, imply. Pleased, if you're pleased by something, that implies you've got some sort of benefit from something. God gets benefits, but God gets benefit from something that a human has done. So that, 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 that's the implication. Look, I, I, could, I could put the same the, 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 uh, the, the, the important thing, Josh, is this, that even in the Old Testament, God is angered by the actions of some people. Yes, but he knows, that fits into my framework. But, but, he, no, but he knows that they're going to do that because he has all knowledge. Yes. So, so, so we're not that different on that, on that, in that sense. Fine, but the thing is, the, the thing that I'm saying is, within the framework that I've just outlined, that anger is absolutely fine, right? Because anger against evil is a good thing. Yes. If a person, if right. Moshe Goss was not angry at evil, then that would be a deficiency on him as well. But so it, it, it fits perfectly within the paradigm but, 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 of it. But, see, what, but none what, of these what, things but, 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 but what might be deficient in me, or what might be good in me, doesn't necessarily mean God has to have that that attribute. That's true, but it's not about what God actually because, has. Because, it's because about how we Because if, as a man, if I, as a man, I did not desire a woman, some would argue that, that I was deficient. Yes. Right? But I would not attribute Na'uzubillah that God is somehow needing of, of, of some form of uh, attraction of some sort. Or a son or things like that. But for me, that's a deficiency. But I can't attribute that to God, to Allah. Who says that desire is, um, is, is, is not a deficiency? Maybe desire is, in fact, a deficiency. But, but you're, now you're claiming that Allah created desire in our hearts. Hearts, uh, to marry, to procreate, to have children, and now you're saying that that's a deficiency. The desire, right? There's parts of the desire which are in fact a deficiency. Like lust, for example. Well, of course. We're not talking about this. We're, we're not talking, talking about, about lust. Talking about we're just talking about normal, the desire, the normal, the normal desire, desire to reproduce, for love, to for, for, for companionship, yeah. for children. For children. Right? Well, we, we believe that. We, we, again, we believe that God loves His children. Again, love. Meaning, I'm talking about the word desire. You're talking about desire. So when, when a man, a desire his wife. Desire sounds to me like a love. A heterosexual, no, a heterosexual man who is and finds his wife attractive. Uh, and have intimate relations with. To him. have intimate relations with, or to be with, to talk with, to whatever. I would say that that would be a natural inclination of what it is to be a man, right? Okay. I would not attribute that to Allah, to God. Because it's not something which is, which, because it, it is in a way an efficiency. Well, you're, now you're saying that God has created this attribute of being attracted as something that, yes, I agree, it can become, it can, if it's, if it's inappropriate, i.e. if it's for anyone other than your wife. If you lust after or desire somebody who's not you're married to under Judaism, that would be a sin, right? In fact, you know what? It's very interesting you said you brought up uh, a wife. If yes. you look at Hosea, yes. the whole parable that Hosea says is that, um, is that Israel, who elsewhere is described as being the children, is now described as the wife, right? Who has actually gone astray and, um, and has committed adultery, going after the idols. No, but Josh, that's a different so, point. So, so, so that Josh. metaphor also exists. No, but Josh, that's a different point. That metaphor also exists. No, no, jo Josh, what you said is that we can't attribute to God a quality that we don't feel that we have that is a good quality. Right. right? So, we, so in other words, God is that as well. But uh, what I'm trying to explain to you is that if a man desires his wife, finds her attractive, he finds her appealing, he has that desire, that inclination to be with her, do you think that's a normal, natural thing that Allah has given all of us? So, 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 so but, 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 but wouldn't attribute that to God, that's what I'm trying to say. So from that perspective, I can say that... Um, that Bro the, the brothers, 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 ignore, ignore. From that, no, no. From, from, from that um, perspective, so we could, we could also put that in and say, actually, no, actually, we can attribute it to God in the way that He, he chose uh, He chose a people that He um, that He connected with, no, no, right? But you're in saying, that kind of way. But you're, but you're you can also say that. But, 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 but the, the, the function. Of the the, 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 this is the problem here because you said you said to me you said earlier 
According something, to the Quran, something which is, which is a perfect, a perfect attribute to the human being, to apply to God. So that's what he is. He's he bringing you the same concept. He says, "You must be a foolish be person." Exactly what you see. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's, that's the problem. Go Allah. Not just Go that. Away. And add to it. The deceiving deity. Go away. Allah, the deceiver. My God. Quran. Chapter, chapter three. I would love to see him arguing a big team. That would be hilarious. Arguing a big team. Who's that? Allah. Shia fellow. Oh my God. I'd love to have those two at it. That'd be amazing. So, so you see here, going back to the point, so regret, it, it could be a virtue for us as a human being to regret yes. because we are sinner, we are deficient, we, we, have, we make mistakes because we don't know the consequences right. of our action. For example, if someone designed a plane yeah. and then later on we regret, I wish I modified it in this way, you will not go into this plane knowing this person could regret. But you know, if a person firm with the knowledge what he has done, so that's what should be confident to what he what he is creating for example, or what he's making for others. So when you say God, God regret, as if God doesn't either doesn't know the consequence of this, or thinking that it could be it could, it could be better than that, or to be improved. That means as if it was imperfect in the first place I to be improved. I already answered this question, and I'll answer it again in the same way that I answered it before. The answer is that we are taking one part of the concept of regretting, which is the main part, which is the higher clarity, over the consequences of an action. We're not taking the, 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 the narrative of the action itself. That's not what we're taking and applying to God. We are applying very specifically, and applying very specifically the, the, the clarity of the consequences not the narrative of the action. Cool. Okay, I think, Josh, we've actually debated this as much as we probably yeah. can. Yeah. I think the Islamic point of view uh, would be that Allah is perfect. His attributes are perfect. The action of regretting is imperfection, and we would never attribute that to Allah. Now, I know, I know that. That's why we disagree. I know, so I know that at, you have. We are, a, we are at an impulse. I understand that you have a, a different view on that, and you know you're entitled to your view. But I'm just saying that Islamically, we would not attribute that. But, to but the same but, word, uh, that, that's that's fine. That's yeah, we can, fine. we can agree we can to disagree. disagree. Of course. In, in, of course. In the same time, at the same time, until now, because for us, until now, you didn't define. God, the God concept in the Jewish, for example, faith. Until now, there is no kind of a specific definition to say this is God. So as if you are, that's why many of the agnostic people, they will agree with you because there is no definition of God to you. I mean, as a, as a Jew, if you want to define God, so God is something, yeah, opposite to nothing, yeah? So something, any, anything, it has attributes. Anything in existence has attributes. Qualities, so, yes. Qualities, exactly. Yeah? So if, if you are talking about has no qualities, or no specific qualities, have no specific attributes, you're talking about nothing. So if it's something, it should have qualities and attributes. What are they? To me, to me, definition, right, which is the first point you made, Definition equals limitation. When I define no. something, I am putting it into a box. No. No. I'm Josh, saying this Josh, is what Josh, it is. Where did you get this from? Josh, if I say all knowing, how is that limited? It's not a definition. But that's a description. That, but, but if I say a quality of all the quality, knowing, quality. That's a description. It's a, but it's a, it's, a, it's a quality that's possessed all knowing. It's still a description. It's not a, a description of a quality. <laughs> Fine, but it's not a definition. But Josh, the point that we're trying to make here, an attribute, a quality, quality, something inherently possessed by the entity, God Almighty. If that if that quality is one of the qualities, it's all knowing. That means that there is no knowledge outside of God. That's not limitation. That's actually completely comprehensive. That's it. comprehensive. It's true that that is not limit. That, that, that's not limitation. And the reason or why is because it's not a definition. Anyway, it's not so, a definition. Josh, are, it's you a ready, are you ready to do the shahada? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> All right, it was nice. Come on the stream next time we're on. Yeah, anyway. we'll have I know. Chat. I we'll know. Have another chat. That's good. We had a good discussion at least. <laughs> this Josh. Let's go pray. I don't know where he went. Nice. Maybe you Let's go to pray. Let's go to pray. Let's go pray. Let's go pray. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go pray. Uh, this is a very good thing. I think. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think. Yeah. Oh, please have any cameras. Oh, yeah. Bye, yeah. everyone. Let's have a wife. Let's see you. Take care. Josh. What don't you believe? Yeah. 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 Ye